Hello everyone, my name is Bartosz Krakowiak. I am president of the Polish group of AIPPI. Uh, today uh, I'm here with my colleagues uh, from the uh, Polish group uh, leadership uh, with uh, Marta Kapczyńska, my vice president, with Claudia Błach-Morysińska, reporter of the Polish group, and with Marcin Fialkowski, secretary of the Polish group. Uh, the Polish group uh, in its current shape has something like 25 years. And uh, as for today, we have around 80 members, which I believe is, is, is a good number uh, in comparison with our uh, colleagues uh, in, other, in other groups. Uh, what is very important, the Polish group is at the same time established here in Poland as the Polish Law Association, uh, association which is called Stowarzyszenie Ochrony Własności Przemysłowej, which uh, is translated as the Association for the Protection of Industrial Properties, some uh, uh, historic uh, reference to the uh, old AIPPI name. Uh, and th this is important because this places us among uh, the officially recognized uh, stak stakeholders who have access to the Polish uh, government agencies and we are Thanks to that, we can be involved in various processes, discussions, uh, and uh, legislative projects mm, uh, related to IP uh, in Poland. For example, last year and, and before that, we were, we were very much involved uh, in the creation of the new system of the Polish IP courts and new provisions of IP law related to, 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 to to that and, and the Polish uh, civil procedure related to intellectual property. And now we are taking care of proper implementation and proper functioning of these uh, newly uh, created courts, uh, which is a tricky thing. And we can also serve as a kind of outside experts to various authorities. And we are very frequently consulted as the national association, but of course, under umbrella of uh, AIPPI. Uh, when it comes to various legislative projects like ongoing work on the new IP law. So uh, I believe the uh, national aspect of our uh, activities uh, is something which uh, distinguishes us and which is really uh, our uh, strong um, side. Uh, at the same time, our international uh, activities uh, are very important for our everyday functioning and uh, Martin will uh, talk about this. Thank you, Thank you Bartosz. Uh, so, um, hello everyone. My name is uh, Marcin Fialkowski. I'm the secretary of the uh, Polish uh, National um, AIPPI Group. Uh, and um, I will have the pleasure to say a few words about our international activity which is a, um, a very important part of, uh, of, of the way we, uh, we work here in Poland in this association. Uh, so first, um, the, standing, uh, the standing committees, uh, we try to be very active in all the standing committees. Uh, I believe that we have a member in each of the committee, maybe at, uh, with uh, uh, one or two exceptions. Uh, uh, we try to make sure that those uh, members are active within their committees and engage in the work of those uh, committees. Uh, uh, for instance, I'm a, a vice head of the um, counterfeiting piracy and counterfeiting committee, and Claudia, who will be talking in a few seconds, is uh, um, the vice chair of the design committee, as an example. Uh, uh, of course, we uh, take uh, active um, we are active in preparing the study questions for the Congress. Um, I'm responsible for not only for distributing the topics, but also for chasing people just to make sure that everything is on time. It's never on time, but uh, we are used that we have a delay of one week. We try to be better uh, and to keep all the deadlines. We do our best, but uh, there is so much engagement and there is so much discussion that we cannot really um, put too much pressure on, on people to be on time. Uh, but this is a very interesting um, development also, I believe, for many uh, younger members who are within our organization. 
Uh, then the Congress, um, um, our activity in the Congress depends on uh, geography. The closer is the Congress to Poland, uh, the higher um, the higher is the member of uh, Polish um, members and attending this Congress. Uh, and during the last Congress, which was a virtual Congress, uh, a lot of younger members had the opportunity to visit China. Uh, they didn't have to incur all the costs, uh, but they were extremely uh, but they were extremely grateful that they had this opportunity to see how life uh, AIPPA, AIPPA life looks outside uh, Poland. So this was also a very important part um, of the way uh, of the development of younger uh, younger members within our um, association. And then um, uh, we also um, uh, look uh, closely at the developments in the world. Uh, one of those examples is the uh, current discussion about the waiver of uh, the patent rights related to COVID-19 and the vaccines. Uh, um, we organized an, a seminar um, on this topic here in Poland with members, with speakers being members of AIPPI. I believe it was a success. Uh, uh, it was very, um, um, very well received. Uh, and also um, it allowed us to um, build our, um, to help to build our high profile as an association, as a leading association related to uh, IP protection here in Poland. Uh, so this is um, more or less what we do here in terms of international aspects. Uh, Claudia, over to you. Thank you, Martin. My name is Claudia Wodmorysińska and I'm a reporter of Polish group of IPPI and additionally I'm a co-chair of design committee. So as a national group reporter, firstly I will focus on publication when I'm aware members contributed. Uh, it has been a while since IPPI started cooperation with Walters Kluver, and the result of this cooperation is the IPPI Law Series. A new title is released once a year before um, an IPPI World Congress. So far, you can find a chapter referring to Poland prepared by our members in all publications, including Marta Schneider and Justyna Rasiewicz in Patent Protection for Second Medical Uses, uh, me and Lavinia Brancusi in Design Rights, Functionality and Scope of Protection, Bartosz Krakowiak and me in Genuine Use of Trademarks, uh, and Marta Kawczyńska in Antibody Patenting. Many of this publication has a, its second edition. So uh, we, uh, we, we try to take part in every of this law series publication. Additionally, our member, Piotr Zawadzki, he works on next publication from IPPI law series. It will be focused on rights in data and the work is still in progress and uh, probably it will be published very soon. Additionally, we try to keep update our other IPP members what is happening uh, here in Poland, and we, we are preparing the articles for IPP news. We report about the seminars and conferences we hosted or, or we participate. Uh, we inform the IPP members about the other IP developments, uh, including important case law uh, and legislative changes and proposals. Uh, additionally, we, we are planning to publish the study question and the resolution uh, with one uh, with the Polish publishers, but this project is at the beginning phase and we will keep you updated about this for sure. Additionally, our members are active not only in publication, but also in seminars. We are attending a lot of IPPI seminars, including the one that are organized by national groups. As an example, we can uh, give the um, seminar on IP that were organized by IPPI group from Israel or Turkey. And we've got great uh, tradition in organizing trilateral meetings with a Polish, German and French group, but Marta will say you more about that. Marta? Uh, thank you, Claudia. I'm Marta Kawczyńska. I'm vice president of the Polish IPPI group. Um, and I will um, tell you a few words about our core, one of our core activities, which is organizing uh, tri trilateral seminars with uh, other national groups. Uh, indeed, they uh, have a long tradition. Uh, the first one was organized about 20 years ago uh, on a 
on the initiative of the former president of the Polish group, Mr. Andrzej Ponikiewski, and the former president of the German group, Mr. Hans-Peter Kunzhalstein. Uh, it was a bilateral meeting of Polish and German IPPI national groups. The idea behind this project was and still is uh, to discuss recent developments in the respective national laws and to get highlights on the changes in the national uh, prosecution and litigation proceedings uh, related to IP matters. And uh, last but not least, uh, to get a chance of networking and in-person discussions in smaller participant groups. As the first seminar attracted a lot of participants and was very successful, it started this tradition and developed finally into trilateral seminars organized jo jointly by our group uh, in cooperation with German and French ones. Usually our seminars happen in alternative matter in Germany, France and Poland every second year and last about uh, one day and a half. The program is essentially divided into four separate panels related to uh, patents, trademark and design issues, copyright related themes as well as general IP matters. Uh, the first such trilateral meeting took place uh, in Berlin in April 2015 and was followed by the seminar in Warsaw in 2017. Uh, these were very successful ones uh, and attended many uh, registrants. The last uh, live seminar uh, took place in Paris in April 2019. Its topic was changing IP in changing Europe. The attendees appreciated not only the program, uh, but also network, networking during the event on a boat enjoying the Paris by night. Uh, this year, um, our seminar is supposed to be held in Germany. However, due to the outbreak of the coronavirus pandemic that has affected every aspect of our lives and plans, this seminar uh, had to be organized as a webinar. Uh, it was held on April, uh, 22nd of April uh, this year um, and was focused on the latest developments in French, German and Polish IP laws. Mm, from pa uh, patent perspective, speakers focus on amendments on the national patent laws and impact on their practice. The panelists discuss also new developments in French law connected with changes in trademark validation proceedings, Polish new IP courts and lating, uh, latest design case law in Germany. Uh, even though it was a webinar um, and uh, we missed a uh, hugely uh, networking park, uh, it was huge uh, success with nearly 150 registrants. Um, so uh, we plan to organize a new uh, seminar uh, next year in Germany, which we hope will be live one. Thank you. Thank you, my colleagues. Thank you uh, for those uh, who take uh, took the time to listen to us. Uh, that's it. And uh, I encourage uh, all of you to follow the activities of the Polish group of uh, IPI. Thanks.